Uh, I'm going to tell you a story about Rembrandt and an encounter in the Gemälde Gallery in Berlin. And like a lot of young artists, I was very hubristic and just really couldn't stand Rembrandt. First of all, he was like the patriarch and I was very dismissive of painting in general mm -hmm. and the great masters in particular. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I started to sort of wonder about that when I started to age. And I ended up in the Gemälde Gallery looking at the abduction of Prosperina um, by him. And I was kind of stunned by the, the pain handling and the light and the dark in it. What had sort of bothered me the most about his paint handling was that the hacks had gotten a hold of it. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way I kind of yeah. understood his work through that lens of all of the mediocre painters over the centuries that had taken his innovations and basically turned them into kitsch. Mm -hmm. And this encounter with the abduction painting really just turned it all around for me. I just, I couldn't stop looking at this picture. And so I was staring at it for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I walked away and I looked at a few other things in other galleries and then I walked back and stared at this painting for another 10 or 15 minutes. Just there are such articulations in the darks in that piece as she is being dragged mm -hmm. in by uh, Pluto down into Hades. And there's these horses and sometimes you can't distinguish them from the darkness and her body is painted in such a way that it's pure light. And so the canvas is divided on this diagonal that is, you know, light and dark mm -hmm. in this beautiful articulation. And so again, I walked away from the painting and when I looked at some other things and then the gravity of that particular piece pulled me back again. I was back in its orbit. And then the guards in the museum started to like freak out. Yeah. Because they thought, oh, what's this creep up to? Yeah. <laughs> He's been staring at this painting too long. He's got a fixation on this painting. Yeah. 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 And so like they started to like stand really close to me while I was looking at it. And then we ended up getting in this conversation about the piece as like one of the people spoke English. So we ended up to reassure them. This mm -hmm. painting. And I had told him, like I said, I until this very moment, I did not take Rembrandt seriously. And this mm. painting cracked like the whole thing open for me. Mm. And, and were you a painter yourself at that point already or or not yet? Not yet. And it wasn't until I turned 50 and I realized that in fact, now I was the patriarch and all was <laughs> lost that I had to pick up a brush and start painting. Yeah. yeah. That's the moral of the story. Never <laughs> say never. <laughs> Love it. Thank you.